a dog that belongs to you got out of your house, which is six houses away from hers, and somehow got into her house through a doggy door, what kind of dog do you have? A pit bull mix. How much does it weigh? 35, 40 pounds. And what kind of dogs do you have? I have a chihuahua and two miniature schnauzers. Somehow, your dog got loose from your control for whatever reason, got in to the defendant's house, inside her house, and inside her house, your dog attacked one of her dogs, causing serious injury to that dog and making a mess in the house in the process because there was blood all over the place. It was a mess. In order to try to get your dog back while this was going on, your daughter from your house, because you had just come in, according to you, from unloading paintings that you had just bought for the house, your door was open. That's how the dog got out. You say the dog was chasing her dogs that were out in the street. I don't care. Her dogs didn't come into your house. From your house, your daughter ran after your dog and tried to get into the house by crawling through the doggy door. She crawled in through the doggy door, couldn't get all the way through, but was able to reach up and open the door from the latch. I didn't actually go inside the house. Where did you see your dog? As soon as I opened the door, she ran out towards the other dog. Her other dog was in the yard? Yes. Did you see the dog that had been injured inside the house? Yes. What kind of dog was it? I'm pretty sure Chihuahua. Did you see blood? Yes, ma'am. How did your dog get out of Miss Threlkel's house? Through the door. After you opened it? Yes, ma'am. So you opened the door. Did you go back out through the doggy door? Yes. And it's the Chihuahua's vet bills and whatever damage was done inside your house that you want Mr. Seufer to pay for. Mm-hmm. And my pain and suffering. The only one that's pained and suffering right now is me. <laughs> Mr. Seufer, you have no defense. Do you understand? You have no defense to the fact that your dog was out of your control, entered her home, injured her dog, your daughter, in an attempt to get back the dog, damaged her doggy door by trespassing in her house. Your suggestion that it's her fault because her dogs were free without a leash, if her dogs had caused any damage to your home if they were out without a leash, I would say, well, I'm gonna hear that. But even if they were outside without a leash, that's not a defense for your dog. Your dog, much bigger, much more potentially aggressive to be out of your control and to run six houses down into her house. Do you understand that? I would say that it's not six, but three houses. No, Who that's... cares? I also How many think... houses separate yours from hers? Three. Three. So the dog ran three houses away. Yes. And your daughter ran three houses away. This is not next door. This isn't the common driveway. Was out of your control for three times the width of this courtroom, at least, probably six, out of your control into her house. What do you think could possibly be a defense for that? Well, I think it's also relevant that police issued citations, not to me, but, but to my neighbor. Then they were stupid. St. Louis County, Missouri. We have anything interesting from St. Louis County, Missouri? There's a city ordinance actually for that exact town that says section 205, 215, keeping or possessing a pit bull dog. No person within the city raise, maintain, possess within his or her custody or control of a dog of the pit bull breed. Did you know that? No. It says just that one dog. Or is it more than that it, one? It says pit bull breed is defined to mean any dog descending from the following bloodlines and it lists a list of dogs. Now do you understand, sir? Yes. Well, what that means as an owner of the pit bull, A, what you're doing is against the law, according to your city ordinance. But more than that, if you have a dog that you know has been identified as potentially dangerous, you can't let a door open and let that dog get out. And there is certainly zero defense for your dog getting out and going into her house and severely injuring her dog. 
There's no excuse for that. How much were your vet bills? $1,369.49. And what was the damage to the interior of the house? The interior of the house is just my maintenance and cleaning it up. No. And what did it cost to fix the doggy door? $715.43. $715.57. That's $2,074. Now, you have more than ludicrous counterclaim for harassment and for her negligence in letting her dogs be outside unsupervised. Judging for the plaintiff in the amount of $2,074. Good girl. Got it. Good thing to be honest. Always. We're done. I would think twice about keeping that dog, sir. It's against the law.